Hey everyone, how's it going? Max here with another video. I wanted to make this quick video for anyone that's in a WGU cybersecurity program. As you can see here, the course I just completed is C841. So for this course, there's two performance assessment. They're pretty easy. There's not really much that goes into it. If you have a background in security, this, this course should be pretty easy because you're pretty much writing a paper on a company that's violating a lot of laws and obviously security mechanisms are not in place so that's pretty much what, you, what you're writing about so as you can see here I did the first one on the 9th and then the second one I submitted on the 13th so at least five days in between which is how long the scores take pretty much it's it's that easy so if you follow along on the let's see this is the rubric for the for the paper so if you follow along here it tells you exactly what you should write about or what should be included in your paper so if you follow this, you'll be fine. And what I will tell you that if you at least, let's say for here, actually for three, and you only gave two, they'll return the paper and have you redo, like include the third one. So you want to make sure you kind of keep an eye on this. Like this one says two instances. You want to make sure you include two instances and not just one, because that did happen to me for my second attempt. I only included, I think, one, but it was like, hey, you're missing another instance. So you want to make sure you do that. And the first one, here are the points, A1, A2, A3, as you can see, A1 is talking about computer fraud and abuse act, A2, laws and regulation, A3, duty of care. So you want to make sure you, in whatever topic it is, you want to make sure it's included in your paper. And as you can see, I did cite my sources. Obviously, you have to write in a professional manner, I mean, obviously. And so that's that's pretty much it if you cover all your points we should be good so that's that's for the that's for task one so for task two where is it at this is the rubric for task two so task two is a little bit different i mean i, th I, th I thought it was a little bit easier because for me i do have my security plus so the two main topic i focus on a lot where separation of duties and principle of least privilege so those were my two main topics that I focus on a lot since it was related to the case study so I just followed the rubric and that was pretty much it I mean there wasn't much to it it was it was that easy and anyone can complete this course in four to five days if you have security experience and if you don't maybe a couple more but as you can see here it was talking about eth ethical guidelines factors information security policies so that's pretty much what you're writing about and there's there's not really much to it it's it's that easy so i wanted to make this quick video for anyone that's taking this course or looking to take this course soon so the main thing will be to just follow the rubric and you should be fine make sure if they ask you for two instance you include two instance if they ask you for three you include three and not go off script pretty much so if you follow exactly as it is, you should be fine and you can complete this course in about three to five days. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this quick video about this course for anyone that's looking to take it or have it in their program. And obviously, if you can complete it in five days, you go to the next course and knock it out. And that's it for today, guys. So if you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for my next video, which will be introduction to communication so that's it for today guys and i'll see you guys next time